Hello, welcome to the next video on the channel. I'm going to do a, a portrait sketch practice today. I'm going to use um, one of the Art Prof 10 minute pose videos on YouTube. I'll put a link to it at the end of the, the video for you to go and have a look at yourself if you want to follow along. Um, I'm going to be using the Nick Pro mechanical pencil set that I bought from Amazon. Again, there'll be a link to that in the description if you're interested in going and buying a really good, useful set. Um, so, let's get on with it. Well, as always, I seem to start by sketching sort of an egg shape for the outline of the head uh, and then ears are very helpful judging where they are in terms of from the top of the head to the bottom of the head uh, for lining up everything else with the, the facial features. You can see here I'm adding a centre line. Um, it's a fairly full-on portrait here. That centre line enabled me to make sure that the glasses, which again is something very useful to hang the rest of the features on in place. Uh, I start to then add some of the shading to begin the three-dimensionality of the, the actual head. You can see me here building up the shadow on the right hand side of the face. The light is coming in from the left of the picture here. Quite subtle though really, it's quite a dark reference photo. So there aren't any strong highlights anywhere on the, the face. You'll see that as I continue I do the usual darkening about all the shadows that I've already added um, to increase the tonal values. I really am going to have to try working on some coloured paper I think to, to lower the tone to a grey paper and maybe even use chalk and stuff for highlights because on the reference photo if you've had a, had a look at that there is white hair um, that sticks out on the, even the, in the shadowed area of this, the, the face here nice to be able to sort of add some chalk like highlights on that side just to make it pop a bit more. Here you can see I'm building up the shadow on the right hand side here to give the overall effect that the light is coming from the left. much easier to draw people, um, older people certainly, who have lots of creases on their face. It sort of gives the face some structure and, and an opportunity to see where things line up with other things. Um, gives you reference points to measure, I suppose, mentally measure anyway, where things should be. It's already beginning to look like an Asian gentleman, I'm not sure how I done that but it, it is already starting to look like that. Unusual for me to draw somebody with glasses on and I think they're half successful. And darkening up the right hand side of the face here again to, to add the three dimensionality.
creases on the forehead. Again, beautiful fur. Line things up there. I'm starting to put in the shoulders, neck, and also some background shading. As I said, it's quite a dark reference photo, really, and that doesn't come across so well on this drawing here. some texture to the moustache here and above I er use the eraser to make some of the white highlights in the hair on the left hand side and again to try and indicate that the light is coming from the right Well, this is the final drawing. Um, it does look like an older Asian gentleman, which is something. Half a likeness to the, the picture that I copied. You can see that, as I said at the beginning of the video, on an Art Prof YouTube video with 10 minute portrait poses. I'll put the link at the end of the video in a second. Thanks very much for watching. Um, do comment on the video, do like the video. Um, please subscribe if you're new here. It will help the channel to grow. Let me know what you think, how I can improve. I think overall this one is quite a, a scrappy portrait. Um, but I'm half pleased with it. It took about 40 minutes, 45 minutes to do. Um, it's filling the sketchbook quite nicely with a variety of work. Which is nice to see. Okay, well, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.